Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than the other ones on this channel. Instead of opening up a vintage baseball card pack, I'm going to be showing you some vintage baseball card singles. Um, I used to collect cards as a kid, and then when I went to college in the early 90s, I stopped. And then in the last month or so, I picked it back up again. And with all the choice these days with baseball cards, it's hard to decide what do you want to collect. And I made a decision that I want to collect Hall of Famers, vintage Hall of Famers. And by vintage, what I mean is 1982 and earlier. A childhood friend of mine collected cards with me as a kid. And when I stopped, when I went off to college, he kept, up, kept at it. So he built up a big baseball card collection. And I was talking to him. And then he wanted to sell some of his cards and uh, reduce his exposure to baseball cards. And I was interested in increasing my baseball card exposure. So what I did is I asked, asked him to come up with a list of Hall of Famers uh, pre-1982 that he had that were in good shape. And so he sent me a spreadsheet, and we went back and forth via email with that spreadsheet and negotiated on some cards. And so then I didn't see these cards before I bought them. I trusted him that he had a good judgment that they're in good shape and everything. The total list came out to be 176 cards from 1981 to 1958. And they were all individually priced, so that they ended up being a total value of $949. So I decided to make it at around $1,000 and gave him about $50 for shipping and for packaging and his time in creating the list. So. For $1,000, I got these 176 cards. So that works out to be an average of $5.70 a card. The cheapest card is a, is a dollar. And the most expensive is there's a few $30 cards in here. So I'm going to show these to you right now. And you get an idea of what you can get for $1,000 worth, worth of vintage baseball cards. So, so here's the pile of them. And I'm going to go reverse by year. Um, I'm going to start with the newest cards and then go back from there. And let's see how long this takes. I might break this up into two videos um, if it gets to be long. But let's start with the cards and let's see what I got. Let's start over here. These are the newest cards. And there is a one 1982 card in the pack. Um, so this is a Lee Smith. A Hall of Famer rookie card 1982 and the prices are shown on here so if you were wondering how much each card was so this was a two dollar card so Lee Smith is the first card I got um, then this there's only one Donruss card in the whole set um, they're all tops except for this one um, this is a two dollars for Tim Raines rookie card so I thought I'd get that and then now we're into 1981 tops so we have an Ozzie Smith, Steve Carlton, Pete Rose in a Phillies uniform, uh, Johnny Bench, pretty good shape except a little bit of black marks there, uh, Tom Seaver in a Reds uniform, uh, Fernando Valenzuela rookie. So got that. And then we have the Tim Raines rookie in tops. It was part of a future stars as opposed to individual card. A Nolan Ryan. A George Brett. A Harold Baines rookie, 1981. So let's keep going. Uh, Reggie Jackson, all-star card. And now we get into the 1980 cards. Jim Palmer, uh, Steve Carlton, Pete Rose, Paul Molitor, Tom Seaver, Joe Morgan, Willie McCovey, Uh, Reggie Jackson, 
And the last 1980 card is a George Brett. So 1979, we move into uh, Eddie Murray. This one is one of the, my, the better cards in the whole lot in terms of um, quality. So I might get this graded. It looks pretty good. Uh, centered well, corners are sharp. Um, so we'll see. Uh, Dave Winfield, Raleigh Fingers, Gaylord Perry, Mike Schmidt, and Nolan Ryan, one of the more expensive cards in the 1979 uh, set, uh, $12 here. And it's pretty good shape, a little bit off-centered. Uh, Phil Necro, Paul Molitor, a Robin Yount, a Petro's Record Breaker, that was uh, numbered early in the set, um, in the middle of the set, number 204. Um, Petro's is regular card. George Foster, not an all-star player, not a uh, Hall of Famer, but I, I was a big fan of the Reds, so he knew that, and my friend knew that, and so he got me a George Foster. Uh, Steve Garvey, another one that didn't quite make the Hall of Fame, but a star nonetheless. Uh, back to Hall of Famers, Don Sutton, Andre Dawson, Carlton Fisk, and Jim Catfish Hunter. So we'll continue on with the 1979 cards. George Brett, Reggie Jackson, and now we move into 1978. Uh, Jim Palmer, Dave Winfield, Mike Schmidt, Uh, some rookie cards. This is a Dale Murphy rookie card. He's one of four pl players on this um, card. Uh, Lance Parrish was pretty good also. So Dale Murphy rookie card. And then we have a Paul Malter and a Alan Trammell rookie card here. Um, we got some black marks through here, but uh, it's good to see both of them on one card. Another Petro's record breaker. Most hits for a switch hitter lifetime, 1978. Ray Knight rookie card. Again, it's a Reds player, not a Hall of Famer, but I was a Ray Knight uh, fan. He played third base for the Reds. Uh, Mario Soto, another Reds player, his rookie card, 1978. Pete Rose. Johnny Bench. Joe Morgan, pretty good quality here. Don Sutton, Andre Dawson. Um, I'm not sure whether this is a rookie card or not. It, it says rookie on there, but I'm not so sure. Tony Perez and Willie McCovey. Continuing on, 1978, Carl Yastrzemski, Reggie Jackson, a Reggie Jackson World Series card, and Lou Brock. So that's the end of the 1978s. So let's move on to 1977. So we have a Jim Palmer. Steve Carlton, Willie Stargell, we haven't seen one of these yet. Uh, Bert Blylevin, Robin Yount, we're getting closer to his rookie year. His rookie year was 1975. Gaylord Perry, Tony Perez. Johnny Bench, 
Lou Brock, Don Sutton, and there's his rookie card, Andre Dawson. Uh, he was one of four players on this card, um, 1977 rookie card. So that 1978 card we saw earlier was the first time he was on a card by himself. Dennis Eckersley and George Brett. We have Jim Catfish Hunter. We have Goose Gossage. And now we get into 1976. Uh, Brooks Robinson, Mike Schmidt, Dave Parker, first time we've seen him. Uh, I don't believe he made the Hall of Fame, but uh, he was part of the big red machine too. So uh, Willie Stargell, Robin Yount, one year away from his rookie card, 1976 here. Gaylord Perry, Don Sutton, Tommy John, not a Hall of Famer, but I, he's very famous for the Tommy John surgery, so I put that in the list. And Burt Lylevin. Uh, Rod Carew. We have a Joe Morgan, uh, 1976, George Foster, Ken Griffey, uh, Ken Griffey Jr.'s father, Ken Griffey Sr., uh, Dave Concepcion, a shortstop for the Reds, again, not a Hall of Famer, but another good Reds player, So, and we're into 1975 now. so. Dave Winfield, Mike Schmidt, Carlton Fisk as a Red Sox player, Tom Seaver as a Mets player. Uh, we've only seen Reds, Reds card so far. Now this is back when he was a Met. Is a pretty good shape. Louis Tiant. Uh, Rich Goose Gossage, Frank Robinson, Tim McCarver. I don't think he made it in the Hall of Fame as a player. He made it, might have made it in the Hall of Fame as a broadcaster, but for one dollar it was worth getting. Rod Carew. And the rookie cards from this year, 1975, a Gary Carter rookie card uh, for $12. And then in this one, we have a Fred Lynn rookie card. And finally, for in the 1975 group, we have um, Keith Hernandez rookie card. So um, I think right here, we're gonna I'm going to stop right here. Um, and then in part two of the video, I'm going to be doing um, 1974 through 1958 um, in the next part of this video. So I'll post that in the next couple days. Uh, but for now, uh, you've seen what $1,000 will get you in terms of cards from uh, 1982 uh, back to 1975. And so you'll see the rest of the cards and see what a total thousand dollars worth of cards will get you. So uh, please like and um, subscribe to this channel so that way you'll get notified when the next uh, set gets put up. And I hope you enjoyed it and going back through memories and seeing old some old vintage cards. And so please comment below, tell me what you think about this video, um, and we'll see you next time.